Hello, we are going to read this beautiful book called The Busy Tree by Jennifer Ward, illustrated by Lisa Falkenstern, under one of our favorite oak trees here in Potrero Canyon. I am a tree, a busy tree. Come and see. There are my roots, winding and long. They anchor and feed me and help me grow strong. Look at my acorns, shiny and round, nibbled by chipmunks who scratch at the ground. And here we have the Western gray squirrel in Potrero. We don't have chipmunks. Here is my trunk where busy ants scurry, searching for food as they march in a hurry. The spider that lives in my bark, spinning a web from dawn until dark. A woodpecker searches eager to munch, tapping for bugs it will eat for its lunch. Visit my hollow that is home to an owl. He sleeps all day long, then at night starts to prowl. Can you see the little screech owl? He's so camouflaged sitting in the hole. These are my branches, leafy and high. A sidewalk for squirrels that soar through the sky. One of my branches cradles a nest, a cozy, warm home where new hatchlings rest. Look at this small twig that holds a cocoon, protecting a moth that will emerge soon. These are my boughs that creak, bend, and sway, shading the children below as they play. A boy finds an acorn I shake from my top among autumn leaves that swirl as they drop. A girl plants a seed. It grows toward the sky, taller and stronger as seasons pass by, becoming a tree, a busy tree. Come and see. Let's visit our very own busy tree and see what's going on. It starts life as an acorn, and that acorn has to be somehow planted. And in nature, that happens when a squirrel or a blue jay or a crow hides it so that it can dig it up later for a meal. But sometimes they forget where it is or don't smell it, and then it can start to grow into an oak tree. Fall is the time for acorns, so if that seed is buried in the fall, once the winter rains come, it will start to grow a very long root, and after the root grows, it will start to grow some leaves. Now we have a little baby oak tree. It takes many years until that oak tree is big enough to have flowers, and these are the flowers of the oak tree in the springtime. Those little dangly things have pollen in them, and watch what happens when we come across a blue jay sitting in an oak tree and he hops from one place to another. Are you ready? I think this was a baby blue jay. Oh my goodness, I could hear him squawking, but I couldn't see him until he jumped to another branch. I bet he's covered with pollen. That's what all that dust was. So fall is when the acorns start to grow. They grow with the winter rains and after many years they get to be a tree as big as this one. Oak trees also have more bugs in them than any other kind of plant. And I know you know who made this beautiful structure. Yes, that's from a spider. There are also so many different kinds of eggs that hatch into all different kinds of bugs. Let's look at one little group of eggs on an oak tree and talk about what they're going to become. 
The mother bug that laid these eggs knew that by putting them on the bottom of the leaf that a predator would be less likely to find them. Hmm, what kind of a predator? Maybe a bird, maybe a different kind of bug. It usually takes just a couple of weeks for those eggs to hatch into a little itsy bitsy teeny tiny caterpillar. The first thing they do is eat their egg and then the next thing they do is start munching on the very special leaf, the oak leaf, that their mother put them on because that is their food. Let's see what this is going to turn into after it becomes a chrysalis. It's going to become an oak moth. And this is what they look like. Moths are usually very camouflaged. And they're not the only thing that are camouflaged. Look at this chrysalis. Does that look like, well, what do you think? To me, it looks like a dried up leaf and it's hanging in an oak tree, hopefully hoping that a predator doesn't find it and eat it. And here are a few other bugs just hanging out in an oak tree. You should look next time you're at an oak tree. See if you can find an interesting bug. They are there. And I just have to show you one more thing I discovered not long ago. Well, this is perhaps the coolest thing I've ever seen underneath an oak leaf. We've got a little bug, a little looks like a little hopper of some type on the left of the leaf. Then we've got some incredibly beautiful four or five red eggs, which I've never seen before. And perhaps one of the little red eggs hatching into a caterpillar. Wow, you just never know what you're going to see on an oak tree. It's an amazing habitat for so many different creatures from bugs to bear, grizzly bears that used to eat the acorns and every size in between. Another thing we see, I don't even have to move where I am, is that some caterpillars actually make a shelter from a leaf. Here's a leaf that's been rolled up or folded in half and glued shut. And I know from having peeked inside before that that's a little caterpillar that does that. They I make very good food for birds and other bugs so they can hide themselves. It's like hiding yourself in a house made out of food because they can eat the inside of the leaf. So oak trees are amazing. Here's some leaves that have bites out of them. Obviously we know caterpillars do that. Oak trees are a place where other creatures live. Look, a branch fell off of this tree and there's a hole. Hmm, what could be inside that hole? We were standing at this hole one day when a bird came flying out. It was springtime and they had a nest in there. So many birds use an oak tree as a place to lay their eggs and raise their babies, which is really convenient when you have all those bugs that are in and around the tree that you can feed those hungry babies. Our tiniest bird, the hummingbird, loves to perch at the top of an oak tree. And they're also collecting bugs. That's what they feed their babies. And they eat bugs as well as nectar throughout their life. This screech owl has also made a home out of a hole where a branch broke off. And they also eat the bugs. And oak trees are a great place to perch and look out into the distance for food, such as this red-shouldered hawk. Remember how we started off talking about how an acorn turns into an oak tree? Well, an acorn is also food for an awful lot of creatures in our forest. Let's look carefully at one of them that is very busy in the fall, collecting as many acorns as possible. Do you see the black and white bird with a red head? That is an acorn woodpecker. And as a family, they collect and then store acorns. Here's one up close. They take the acorns back to a place called their granary, a special tree or maybe the side of a building where they make a hole to store each acorn. Our scrub jays also collect acorns, but they bury them and find them later by using their very good memories. So we not only have the acorn woodpeckers and the scrub jays, but I bet you know who else would love to eat those acorns that are so tasty right now. Look carefully at this picture. Who do you see peeking out of an oak tree? Yes, it's our Western gray squirrel. And here he is. You can watch him going about his fall work, collecting acorns from the tree and then finding a place to hide them and finding them later with his very good nose, his sense of smell. Well, I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit more about our very own busy oak trees that grow around us. 
there's always something happening. And if you're out for a walk or maybe even in your own yard, just stop and look and see what's going on in the busy trees. And we're going to end with just a little bit of listening to the sounds in the springtime in an oak forest.